this week's episode is sponsored by Hero Forge, the masters of customizable miniatures. If you've never played with their online 3D character creator, you are missing out. They've got so many options to make your character exactly the way you want it, and they come out looking great. If you've got a 3D printer, you can download the specs, or they can cast them for you and send them straight to you. Color printing is available now. Just check out this mini that they sent us. Go to HeroForge.com to start designing your custom miniatures. Link in the description. Uh, Jim, what's some of your favorite... Uh just some of your favorite generators other than the ones we mentioned earlier yeah yeah so i think uh that, you know like i said there's a lot of a lot of stuff out there you can use we're talking about online generators um mm -hmm. i think a lot of players are familiar with dungeon d-o-n j-o-n um you can generate random dungeons random really every time i visit it seems like they've got new stuff there um I really like uh, a different website called, uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get the uh, name wrong on it, but Abulafia, uh, A-B-U-L-A-F-I-A, -A, and it's got, it's got a lot and very obscure weird things on it too. You can randomly generate like say fantasy cultures or the contents of a library or you know a meal of some kind that uh you know that your players might have so i find mm -hmm. it's like useful for those weird things it's like i'm never gonna come up with this on my own or i don't need like a bunch i just need like one entry and so i i find that i go to that one uh, a lot um we already mentioned our favorite uh, reddit uh or, you know subreddits for uh for random tables um some others that I really like, the, the Dozen, wait, not the Dozen, the Dungeon Dozen, which is a blog um, that is a collection of D12 tables, just like dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of D12 tables. And I really like it because it highlights the, the principle of like avoiding the predictable and the mundane. Mm -hmm. And the author of the blog is just has this deep creative mind because like every entry is like, I want to use all of these. Yeah. Like, I, I, can't, I can't imagine a world in which I don't get to use the other 11. <laughs> I want them all. <laughs> they all happen uh, this session. Right. <laughs> and because, uh, you know, because there's so many of them, you, there's usually multiple tables that would be applicable for whatever it is that I want a generator on. Mm -hmm. um, another uh, sort of D&D blog that's in a similar vein is the Elf Maids and Octopi blog, which... Uh, is a hundreds of D100 tables. I think that's where I got the trick of coming up with 10 D10 tables. Um, and like whenever I'm planning a campaign or, or just like working on wor world building or something, this is the website I visit to just see like, all right, what's the, what's there? What kind of D, D100 table has this guy come up with that I might be able to, you know, get some sparks from my imagination? Now, fortunately, both of them have indices of their various uh, tables that they've got, so it's easier to navigate uh, than some others. Um, but other tables that I found out there, other online tables, rather, things like Chaotic Shiny, mm -hmm. uh, Seventh, uh, what is it, Seventh Sanctum, I believe. Chartopia uh, is another random generator, although I find it's less useful than some of the others. And, like, each of those has their own spin on, like, name generators, dungeon generators fantasy culture generators titles whatever um so you really just like get a wide variety of entries or or results for something that you're looking for and like taken together you can literally <laughs> have an entire campaign world randomly generated for you without needing to do really any work other than making sure the entries aren't too incongruous that they're just stupid you know right uh it, it really can, can be a a blessing to take so much uh off your plate um moving into offline uh resources i'd say anything produced by uh sign nominee press um they're the ones with like stars without number uh mm -hmm. red tide is another one and their books are like full of useful tables for the game master it, you know they're exhaustive they make use of all the different formats that we've talked about plus others that we didn't get a chance to get to like the roll all the dice table for say npc generation 
and so or the, or the dice drop for creating like a landscape. I think or they've maps. got some dice drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dice drop is one of those. If I if I knew more about it and how to how to construct them, I, we would have talked about it. But I, I just don't. Um, but they exist. You just <laughs> drop the die on a piece of paper. Yeah. Uh, Assign a thing to each number and the, or right. each die, and then the height of or the 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 amount of that number is indicative of some kind of size or yeah, whatever yeah. population <laughs> I, uh whatever yeah that's what, how I, I yeah. understand it yeah maybe maybe we'll do some investigating on it and, t- and talk about it another show but um but yeah anything uh from from that uh, publishing company is going to have useful tables in it um i'm also a big fan of the monster and dungeon alphabet books from goodman games Oh yeah, they have a ton of useful tables in there that are similar to Dungeon Dozen. Just like I want to use all of these, mm-hmm. I, I just need to, you know. Yeah. Um, I've, I've made some crazy cipher monsters <laughs> using. using I'm not. Really, that's it's a fun <laughs> thing to do. Yeah, um, I, they've got a new one like uh, the Cthulhu Alphabet. Uh-huh. Uh, is yeah. is one I've, that I haven't I've had a chance to look it. at, but yeah, it's I'm beautiful. sure has a lot of fun stuff. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> It, I, uh, I'm sad that I didn't buy it when I flipped through it. I'll oh say that. no! <laughs> There's always another time. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, another really useful one that I found, uh, especially in prep, is the Tome of Adventure Design, and it's a big, thick book of just stuff, names, objects, places, uh, threats in an environment, challenges for combat, plots, NPCs who will give you those plots, like. If you can think of it, then it's in that book. Mm-hmm. And you it, it, not just that, but it's also like got a, a chapter on like how to turn these into interesting adventures and the like. Uh, what does the creative process really look like for those who don't really, you know, have a understanding of their own creative process? How do I put all this in here together? Uh, so those are really useful. Um, and then for just like really usable, I need this in a hurry. Uh, you know, I'm going to print this out and have it in my, uh, you know, my DMs folder behind my screen. Uh, the RPG Maze Rats is a great source for random tables. It's only 12 pages long. That's the entire game, right? <laughs> and nested within those 12 pages are all different kinds of tables uh, that you can use to generate NPCs, uh, color for locations, things like that. Mm-hmm. And you know i find that taken together all of these are going to give you a lot of information a lot of results so like pick the few that you like maybe you've got your own um but these are the ones that i turn to the uh most often nice well yeah so that's i think that's a that's a fun convo uh you got plenty of options out there people so uh you know grab some dice and a pencil and just just go nuts i mean yeah just go nuts (laughs) 